Hello parents, we've had a great month at Sugarloaf Kids talking together about peace. Peace isn't just about being still and quiet. Hmm. Real peace is the kind that takes a lot of work. We've been teaching your kids that peace is proving you care more about each other than winning an argument. When you do the work of making peace, it's like you're building a bridge to reach someone. You're choosing to reconnect with the other person. You're taking what's wrong and finding a way to make it right. Parents, we finish the month in 1 Samuel 25, verses 1 through 35, where we find a story about a woman named Abigail. But it starts with King David. He was furious with a man who mistreated his soldiers, and he decided to get revenge until the man's wife, Abigail, intercepts him with gifts to make peace and apologizes. Her peacemaking skills stopped something that could have been horrible. Even though she was not responsible for her husband's offense, she realized that she could play a role in making peace. Bottom line, you can show you care about others by being part of the solution. What a great teaching moment. As we see through Abigail's example, God can work through each of us to make peace between others. We have a downloadable resource on our website for today's lesson to help your family grow in your faith. But as you prepare your heart to talk with your kids, here are some key points to think on. Peace is often about helping stop an argument before it can escalate into something worse. Acting as a peacemaker between others will take time and energy, but God can give us the strength to help others make peace. You can encourage your kids by reminding them that Jesus gave them a heart that cares about people and a creative mind to find ways to bring a solution. Sometimes our outside perspective is exactly what someone might need to see a peaceful solution. To inspire your kids to process this idea, you can ask them this question. What are ways that you can be a peacemaker? Pray together this week and ask God to help us look for ways to help others have peace. To wrap things up, I'll leave you with this mandate from Reggie Joyner, who I know is a phenomenal example of living this out. He said this, the power of listening could be key in how to resolve conflict, and that's learned first at home with a parent.